Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in our video. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the new Top Bar version three that just came out. Um, it's made by Ben, um, amazing guy. He just made this amazing like tool for you guys and it's updated. And you guys are probably like, okay, what is this really about? Um, I'm, I'm really just gonna go in depth, kind of just explaining how to use Top Bar, what you can use for it, um, things like that. It's gonna be a very simple tutorial. If you guys want any like tutorials based on top bar and how to use it um feel free to just let me know in the description um just so you guys know this basically means all the old versions out there you can simply just go and fix by downloading the new version and replacing it with however you did so so that's including all the old ones um now you're probably like why do we need this well as you can tell the new um the new uh like roblox thing they have going on the ui and everything is basically what this is updated for so it's really nice um but yeah if you're new to my channel uh feel free to just hit that subscribe button it means a lot to you guys um we're almost at fifty thousand, which is amazing as you can tell um so yeah it's i'm i'm so happy um but yeah so all you have to do really is go into the description and look at all the links um links will all be down there so you're going to look through there and we're basically going to head into studio but um before we do that we're going to just quickly take a quick look at this so um, I'll bring this over here for you and you can see. Um, yeah, so it's pretty simple. It's really, really cool. He's done a lot of good stuff with this. As you can tell, that kind of looks like the strongest battlegrounds. And he's got just all these cool updates. I, I'm really loving it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this, how to install it. Um, actually, yeah, first things first, let's just go to installation. And you're just going to grab this model. Um, and it's, as you can tell, uh, it's probably like top bars of package. So you can um, get latest package um and auto update if you want to do that um so i would download this right here and we're gonna hop right into studio all right so you're actually just gonna go to your model tab just click this model button and insert that file that you downloaded and it's gonna just give you this right here um as you can tell there's like the get latest package if you need it um pretty nice um but yeah so um i'm gonna show you how this works but yeah you have auto update if you want um you can do get less package but it's already that one so you don't need to worry about that but auto updates on if you need it to really cool i guess this is a new thing roblox is doing so i really like it but um we're gonna put this rev cage storage we're gonna grab this and put it in starter player scripts um you really can do whatever you want with this it's totally up to you but i'm just gonna do this for you but um yeah top bar plus you can name it and you're just gonna put this in here so um there's a lot of readme in there if you want but i'm just gonna go swimply and do here um, and all you have to do is you can do local icon require um, and then you are going to do just like game uh, get service let's go replicate storage dot icon there you go so now you got it so as you can tell it already has this for you now um, how this works is basically you create new icons based of what you want to do so like this would be three icons right here three things on the screen um, and I'm going to go in depth with you showing you how to make them and what they are it's really simple actually so we're just going to look at the documentation because I really wanted to show you guys it. But introduction. So you will need to uh, get this thing. Now, this will all be in the description. Like I said, this literally teaches you how to do it. So like you don't even need to watch this video if you want to, but I'm just gonna explain it for you. Um, there's a lot of like things to this. So like icon, setting the name, um, functions, um, deselected, selected and viewing. So this will sh uh, I'm not even going to probably type this right now because like I said, this kind of just shows you everything. Um, if you do this for your icon, um, it basically uh, will see that, like, yeah, you're um, viewing it, you're opening it, um, select it, it sets the label. Um, auto deselect is pretty nice. Um, you know, by default, we'll just select the other one, another icon is uh, selected, so that's really nice. Um, but yeah, and then you could go to features. So, features is honestly very helpful because this kind of teaches you everything about what you want to do, what you need to do, what you can do. Um, so you can do images. This is going to set an image right here. So image ID would just be, you know, that number from the item thing. Um, I recommend doing images instead of text. I mean, it really depends what you have. Um, but you can do a lot of things with text as well. Um, but yeah, so image and text, you can do that, which is really nice. Um, alignments. So you would set this alignment to the left. Now, when you guys look at this real quick, I just kind of want to show you. See how it's saying icon.new. Um, so, so we have that, right? You have the icon new right here. Everything you do, so like you set image or set align, you know, that is going to be implemented via like just the, that feature, that feature. So you'd copy and paste this 
and put it right there. You don't even need the icon in front of it. That's up to you. It really depends how you do it. But yeah, so that would basically set or whatever, like alignment. So set a line or, oh, it's just a line. You just do a line and then like left. So I would just go like this and go um, like that um, and make sure I put a four in front of that. And then it'd just be that. So basically that's all you have to do when it comes to customizing those and adding them. You can really mess around with it. Um, there's captions, which is really nice. There's notify, which kind of shows you if someone like has something. Um, notify could be very helpful actually if you do like daily rewards or something. Um, now the real key thing with these is like, depending on what you want, you could do like music, you could do really anything. I personally recommend doing it for like UIs and like really simple stuff, like muting music or something, because that's kind of what I do for my games. And it just keeps things off the screen. It makes it very nice. Um, drop downs. This is another great thing. So if you want to make a drop down, you can do something like that. Just, just by copying and pasting this. Let's say you want to do a menu though. You can do a menu just by copying and pasting this. Now remember, like I said, if you're making a new one, this would basically mean that like, oh, okay, this is one icon. I want to create a new one. So this would create a new one and it would be, this would be separately. So this would be like settings or something. And then this would be the drop down for menu or something. Um, and yeah, that's what a menu looks like right here. It kind of shows you. Um, kind of nice actually. Now modify theme. I kind of had a little troubles explaining this, but um, you are allowed to modify these. So if you want to like make a different thing uh, by like, what uh, modification you'd go into here in the icon and you'd go to packages or no, sorry, features, themes, default. Um, you can see all the things through here. So like if you wanna modify and mess around with these, um, you can. I actually wouldn't touch these. You'd wanna do it in here, of course. And this could work by um, doing that little command right here. And it allows you to like change the color or you, know, you wanna make that really cool like icon thing. You could do that. Um, but yeah, so this is actually very helpful um this is kind of a, a nice thing to look at by the way um this is like that opening the shop closing it kind of thing that i kind of was talking about um so i really recommend looking at that one click is really nice um that he added i think um so it kind of just allows you to open the ui and close it i'll probably be using these a lot for my new uh tutorials um but yeah so you know that opens and closes it um toggle items so selected and deselected so when you want to do something like this, you can do that. Um, and I kind of talked about it in a lot of my other tutorials was like, you know, when you simply like have this icon selected, um, maybe this one, um, <clears throat> and basically you're uh, checking to see if it's selected and it's not selected. And then a shop frame would be like by going into your starter GUI of the player and then making that frame visible. And if you don't know how to do that, it's kind of simple. You could probably just go local uh player gui equals you know game dot local oh wait yeah game dot players dot local player uh dot player gui and then you go like uh local shop frame equals player gui um wait for child shop gui dot shop frame um like this and then you'd basically just go into here and you would uh make that visible or not visible pretty simple um yeah so Basically, yeah, um, toggle keybinds also, that's another nice thing you can do. So if you wanna like have a keybind, you can do that. Um, yeah, pretty simple, maybe it works just fine and the captions are really nice. Um, it's it's really cool. Um, and as I was talking about customization, like I said, see how there's that like little gradient stuff, that's what you can do, um, which is awesome. I really love this gamepad thing that he added. I think it's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, so overflows too is another thing he added. So, you know, when it's, it's a smaller screen, it does overflows. I just, I really like great job. He, he's an amazing developer. Um, but yeah, so as you can tell, these are all things you can look at. This is easy documentation shows you how to do it. And then of course, like I said, um, there's API right here. So API allows you to, um, see things. So you want to check if it's selected, you want to set say um set order order is really nice as well order will show you um you know like icon state or set order you can just do like one you know or two or three um chainable toggleable it's really nice to look at this api is pretty nice uh modify theme things like that um so if you guys want a tutorial really me of me just kind of explaining or like adding something or making something let me know i'm going to be using these just in my like cafe tutorials or my vibe tutorials things like that it's really simple to make and um i think it's really nice to use so yeah you'll see these in the next videos i hope you guys all enjoy this tutorial um 
feel free to like that video and uh, subscribe. Leave any comments below and join the Discord because I teach everyone how to do things on there as well. Very nice. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.